we'll not just put you on the podcast. I'll, let's do a real interview. Yeah. And I'd talk love- about your and talk about your number one sales tip. A lot of emails from you. Hey. Yes. <laughs> I do. I, I've been emailing and calling like every week, man. It's uh it's awesome. But that just goes to show you the competitive advantage, right, Jeffrey? Like you just gotta do whatever it takes. All right, and All now right. we bring on Brandon, and I can't, Brandon, I'll butcher your last name, so I'm not even going to try. I'm going to let Brandon tell you. Well, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Jeffrey, Ken, what's up? Happy Friday. Brandon, say your last Brandon. name. What's your last name, Brandon? Uh, Bornanson, so Bornanson. it's uh, straight Italian Sicilian. Okay, got it. I'll never screw yeah. it up again, I promise. Where do you live, Brandon? Hey, uh, so I live in Columbus, Ohio, and then I have a house also in uh, New Jersey where Amazon invested in my company. So uh, we got, got a place it. here. Where do you? Where in New Jersey? Uh, uh, in Newark. It's it's tough, but uh, we're right in the Amazon Audible building, and uh, it's I awesome. Live, I used to live right one block behind the Goldman Sachs building. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, my my place is right next to uh, Amazon and and the Rutgers Business School. Well, so, hey, uh, yeah, th- yeah, thanks for doing this, man. I've been trying to get a hold of you forever to ask you. Uh, Want to interview you for our Sales Secrets book? And the whole premise is. And by the way, uh, when I started in sales twelve years ago, before, uh, I sold for IBM and Google, and then launched my own company. And we now uh, at Seamless.ai deliver the world's best sales leads. Ken Wallace is from Columbus, Ohio. My background. Yep. Uh, we support wow. 40,000 sales people to find the world's best sales leads, anyone's emails and phone cool. numbers. Your book was the first, one of the first three books I read. Yours, Jill Conras, and uh, Art Scopejack. So I appreciate you so much. I uh, went on to do over 100 million in sales from a lot of everything that you taught me. Love Get Shit Done. I've got 10 copies for all my sales guys. So uh, thrilled to be here. And uh, yeah. Jim, I'm going to ask you, what is what? Jeffrey Gittimer's? Number one top sales secret. If you had to go back in time to when you were twenty something, what do you have to go back? I don't have to go back. But I'm I'm going to make it two. I'm going to give you two secrets. Number one, create your own competitive advantage on every sales call you make. You can do that by taking my course. So rather than have people invest, I'm going to just give you my number one sales secret. Love what you do or don't fucking do it. I love that. I love that. You can't get into sales to, quote, make a lot of money because you don't make a lot of money. You hate what you do every day. And you come home and you throw shit around the floor and you drink beer and watch Netflix like a fool. Right. right. So I go to sleep sober every night. I wake Congrats. up in the morning between five and six in the morning and I love what I do. Every morning I sit in this chair. This chair is worth about $10 million because I write in this chair. And every morning I write, I read, I prepare, and that causes me to think and create. I've done those five things for 25 years every fucking day. No weekend. I don't care what day it is. They're all, all days are the same. I work seven days a week too. I appreciate that. All days. And and I'm in two time zones when I travel. Daytime, nighttime. So if it's daytime, I eat and I do stuff. And it's Mm -hmm. nighttime, I go to sleep. Usually late, but I sleep. That's amazing. I sleep a lot. When you, so you love what you do. I love that sales secret. Uh, What is your tip for the audience to, to double down on, on, doing what they love and or what if they hate what they're doing, you know, just so the audience can execute your top sales secret. I wrote this book because people have too many diversions. I explained earlier before you came on, your phone dings more than it rings. You don't know if you're a woman, you don't need to know that your high school boyfriend got a little fat on Facebook. (laughs) <laughs> right. Waste of time. You can that out a long time. You don't need notifications on your phone. I get text and that's it. I get no other notifications on my phone. And sometimes I'll even turn that off. Because I do things on my time, 
not when somebody put urgency into me. I do important things, not necessarily urgent things, or I delegate. And I try to delegate as much as I can. I'm an idea guy. I'm a writer. I'm a sales guy. I'm a speaker. Anything other than that's a waste of my fucking time. Yeah. It's I'm the, the dad, using dad your worth asset. Yeah. I'm a I'm a dad. I'm a, I'm a family guy all the way. I I I have great family, kids, grandkids, wife, yep. Yep. dogs. You know, I, all women. By the way, every single one is a woman. Smart and, man. Well, <laughs> women are the, they're like my favorites. You know what I mean? <laughs> if I had to pick yeah. a gender, yeah. pick the girls. Um, how often having, do you? How, how often do you write? So you write, you've been writing every day, like every day. Anthony Inarino, he writes every day. There's a lot of top sales authors that write every day. How often yeah. are you writing every day? And then also like, how much are you writing? Do you put a cap, a minimum? No, I have an idea. I write it down or I text it to myself. Some days I'll sit like this morning. I wrote a lot yesterday. I, lot. I'm, I write proposals, um, but I'm going to give you a clue for your, for your business. I've just quasi partnered with a company called Hippo Video. You ever heard yeah. of them? Yeah, yeah, I heard of them. They they okay. interviewed one of my sales guys recently for an ebook. Cool. So Hippo allows you to embed a video in an email, and they've hired me to teach people how to make the video and what to say on the video, because sales guys will spend on a subject line. Yeah. Huh? Copywriting is that? critical. Copywriting sells. You got to know how to write copy. So I'm going to teach people how to script their video and how to shoot their video. And I'll even give them scripts for an introduction, to make a sales presentation, but especially to send a proposal. Ah, uh, that's smart. Because salespeople send proposals out in an email and are so fucking stupid that they don't even make an appointment to follow up before they send those. They try to chase the guy down. Like, uh, I send your why, why are you sending it? You should be presenting it to them on the phone, let alone just shipping it. Or, or you can send an email if you put a video in it and say, listen, True. I'm enclosing the proposal. It's not quite self-explanatory. There's three things that are going to happen if you decide to take action. And you make the emotional appeal so that they get the idea that you're different. And I'm going to be doing this with Hippo. And I, if you want to use your guys' betas, I'll, I'll be happy yeah, to do we'll, it. We'll beta it for sure, Jeffrey. And you had mentioned, cool. so love what you do. You, you have to go all in on it. And then you said there was a second secret that you wanted to share. Was that What was the second secret? The second secret is competitive advantage. You have to walk into a sales call with a competitive advantage or you lose. And it's a competitive advantage is not something that you have that the competition doesn't have. That's a misnomer. It's something that you're great at that the customer considers important or valuable. So I'm great at sales. There's a lot of people out there that say they're great at sales. They read the little red book of selling. I fucking wrote it. <laughs> right. He wrote the 13 Bibles on sales. Boom. Boom. Okay. So, but, but the challenge is how are you different or perceived as different or more valuable than your competitor? And you don't have to, to, to downgrade it to bad mouth them. You have to be perceived as different and better. And you better have social proof. Got it. So, social proof. And then, how do you? When you say you have to be perceived and you have to create that competitive advantage. So for the audience to execute this second secret, how do you do that? Write books? If or the customer there's, well, there's, there's a way for every business. If you're a farmer, the way if you're selling cars, there's another way. If you're, if you're a dentist, there's another way. But you have to be perceived as an industry standard or a standard setter, not a follower. I love it. A I'm thought leader or an expert doing something different against the grain. I'm the king of sales. How did I get that title? I named myself. No one took it. I took I it. I love it. But put me on a stage with anybody, 
we'll put 10 grand in cash at the end of the stage. We'll each of our winners from the audience perspective takes the cash. I love that. By the way, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take your offer on that forward, dude. I'll put it in the tank grant and have you do it. Let's roll. <clears throat> Rock the house. I'll do it tomorrow. But I got to read the book and mm -hmm. the book has to be real and applicable. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The book, you know, what you just did, we interview top sales experts and we get their number one secret to sales success. Why okay. and how to execute what you just covered. Yeah. So people like you, Grant, uh, you know, Anthony Inarino, Keith Rosen, Jill Conrad, Trish Petruzzi. I've been emailing you prospecting your office every three days, wait, dude. Wait, 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 wait. See, hold on. I don't, I don't play well with other people. <laughs> I, I know. I don't. So I ignore those kind of things. Oh, dude, but I've now, been prospecting you. I got the emails. I, I've been prospecting you for like <laughs> every other day. And then Friday night, Ken Walls got a live chat. I, I get in. Delete. Unbelievable. Delete. Delete. Yep. I want you to be part of a number of people. Like, fuck those other people. Yeah, it, it yeah. is true. Well, you know, I, I just know how smart you are and I know how, what you've experienced and you share all of those things in your book. So I was like, you can't have the king of sales not in the world's top sales book. No, you can't have the king of sales not write the forward. Mm. That legitimate the book. Uh, there you go. Well, I, I, I love I it, man. Well, hey, I appreciate you. You helped me start a company that's got 40,000 sales teams on it now. You helped me sell over 100 million in sales. I'm truly grateful. Keep doing what you do. Uh, I buy your books and I give it to my sales team. Ken Walls, thank you so much for hosting this. You rock, man. You motivate and inspire me every day. Both of you guys, uh, my whole team, I got 60 people and we follow both of you. you live You're in incredible. Live in Newark. Where do you live? Uh, we've got 40 people in Columbus. We've got 20 people in Newark. And then we've got uh, 10 people remote. So I'm born and raised in Ohio. Live? Columbus, Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, and, and and we built an AI software company. Yep. Dude, get him going to start. Here he goes. Here he goes. Do you have Go winter? Have you heard about Charlotte? Uh, the, oh, so check this out. I tried to relocate to Charlotte. I got office space at Upwork in, uh, not short north. What do they call it? South town, uptown. Uh, uh, yeah. Charlotte. Yeah. That's, I live in South yeah, dude. So yeah. I, I tried to go there, but there was no venture capital money in Charlotte. I pitched uh, Charlotte Angels, NC Idea. No one's got any money out there, even though all the banks are there. I'll give so, you a guy. If you really want to come to Charlotte, I'll give you a couple guys. Well, well now we already raised, we, like we're profitable and we got 40,000 people on the platform. So now we don't need it. But two years ago, I tried to come up to your end. Yeah. Okay. But I love Charlotte when, uh, when, when, <laughs> When we go IPO, I'm getting a place in Lake Norman, and uh, I got a spot for you. Jeffrey, I think he would be a freaking great guy for you and Jennifer to have on your podcast, on your show. Yeah, man. we'll do that. Yeah. Part, of the deal, part of the deal, listen, Adam. part of the deal is <clears throat> we'll not just put you on the podcast. I'll, let's do a real interview. Yeah. And talk, about your, and talk about your number one sales tip. A lot of emails from you. Hey. Yes. <laughs> I do. I, I've been emailing and calling like every week, man. It's uh, it's awesome. But that just goes to show you the competitive advantage, right, Jeffrey? Like, you just got to do whatever it takes. What's yeah. your company name? Seamless.ai, the world's best sales leads. Yeah, yeah. we have so many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, great to meet you. And behind all these emails. Yeah, I uh, I appreciate your patience and uh, <laughs> thanks for remembering. Let's do the podcast and tell your story. I, I would love to. Um, I could talk about like, I remember when I, I got my first job at IBM, I walked into a Kinko's. The three books I bought were Selling to Big Companies, The Little Red Book of Sales, and uh, smart calling, and I was 19. Uh, no, I was 20 years old, and uh, I had one startup that did 10 million, a second startup that lost everything. And then I went and I, I quit entrepreneurship to go sell for IBM Interactive. I go into Kinko's because I was doing the entrepreneur thing, never sold before. And I'm like, How do I sell the Fortune 500? Bought the three books, and then I read them, 
and I sucked at sales for the next two years and then got good <laughs> and good. And, and then we, we did a hundred million and then we, we launched seamless AI. So uh, that's why I told my PR guys, I'm like, we got to get Jeffrey. Dude. He's amazing. Wow. All right. Cool. We're in. Awesome. Um, Holy crap. You can yeah. touch. I need his cell phone and stuff like that. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll DM you can my, my info. Yep. So we got it. Now, you know, I, I yeah, hope you do it. After a hundred emails, I'll send you my cell phone. You can text me. <laughs> but I've yeah. deleted more of your emails than most people have ever emailed me in their entire life. I love that, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And you guys finally connect here. That's freaking no, magic. No. Wait, on, a, on a Facebook live chat. Because I hey, I yeah. went down, I went to Polaris tonight, drove down. I, I was, was going to go. I went and got a haircut. And on the way back, I called Gittimer on the phone. I'm like, dude, why don't we do a Facebook Live promoting your new book? And he's like, sounds good. Text me when you get home. <laughs> yeah. And Ken, you need to come to our office in Worthington and bring your book. And I interview you for our podcast, Sales awesome, Secrets. And, and we'll interview both of you guys. But like, talk about the books. Let's let's get it out there because the world needs to buy it. They need to own it. They need to read it. How downloads does your podcast get a month? I think we're averaging 10,000 a week right now. Uh, we do two shows every Monday and Thursday. And then um, our daily active users is tens of thousands on our Seamless.ai software. Yeah, cool. Wow. Dude, but that, but again, I'm, like, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just I'm just a guy in sales and, and, and a both CEO you. that's trying to learn from you. You sell yourself short. I'm not writing the fucking forward. All right. Well, we're the we're the world's best sales leads with the world's best podcast with the world's best book, and we're gonna change a billion people. Now you're there talking. You go. You're gonna take over. People, please. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm. Just make sure if you've got Benioff's number, just tell him we may consider acquiring him. Not yet, because you know we don't need it. But maybe in the future. Maybe. I do have his number. Wow. That's, I figured. That's that's why I had to throw it out there. You, oh. you can text Benny off and be like, hey, Brandon Bordanson at Seamless.ai says he will one day buy you. I can text Grant Cardone. <laughs> yeah, well, Jeff, you don't know this. So I flew out there to meet with Grant, and he offered me a job, but I was already building Seamless.ai. He offered me the job to run GCTV. And I love Grant and Jared. They had a big impact on me. I turned down the job to move to Miami to run GCTV because I was in ad tech for Google and IBM. I launched – I launched Seamless.ai. It's almost valued at $100 million in sales now. Grant becomes a customer after I turned out his job. I'm like, Grant, dude, like you're an all-in guy. I want to do Seamless. I tried to pitch him to invest. He said no. But he said, you know, because I'm in my training and I'm in real estate. I'm like, dude, you got to become a customer. Jared and Grant became a customer. They have 30 reps on it. And now, you know, we've got Anthony in Arena as investors. Keith Rosen, Stu Heineke. Uh, guy Kawasaki as an investor. Uh, Google, the founders of Google are involved. Amazon, Dean, Brit, Dun and Bradstreet. So like, it, but it's just straight hustle, man. It's it's just going. Yeah, good well. for you, dude. Wow. You know, straight hustle was not born in Columbus. Straight well, hustle, New York City. So I got lucky. My my family was super poor. My dad uh, took a sales internship and took CA Technologies to be the first company to do a billion in software sales. So I saw oh, my wow. life go from shit to amazing like in like, in 10 years and, wow. and then that just showed me when i was 16 i'm like i got to go into sales and then i went to a college that had a sales school ohio university and i launched a company that did 10 million from 18 19 20 yeah, then i launched a second company that lost it all wait wait so like, wait wait you know, let's let's get real wait, about ohio university man number one business school number one party school it's number it's, it's one two birds in one nation. stone yeah <laughs> yeah it's also the number one um, sports marketing school. Yeah, they've got a huge sports marketing school. Yeah, it's great. They all sales. You can graduate with a degree in sales. You you should go. Uh, I don't know if you're doing anything with Ralph and Lucy Shea Sales Center. I know all of the the founders there, where they train like thousands of uh, students. I bet you there's a six or seven figure deal there. We're talking. Wait a minute. We're talking about Ohio University, right? Yeah, yeah. Ralph and Lucy Shea okay. Sales Center at OU. No. That's what I went to. My, one of my fa one of my fathers and was, was Paul Hersey. Yeah, Paul Hersey, situational leadership that uh, Ken Blanchard stole, <laughs> and uh, literally, and Hersey was like my dad. Hmm. 
I, 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 he had stage four cancer. I flew to his home for his 80th birthday because he couldn't go anywhere. Wow. And I have wow. all the colors. That, but he went to Ohio University. He wrote situational leadership at Ohio University. Yeah. And he asked me to go and do the sales for him there when they launched the sales school. Yeah, the sales school is amazing. Uh, I was like, I had my my second company there with thirty people working for it. Right while I was in this Ralph and Lucy Shea Sales Center, you're role playing, you're pitching, you're prospecting, yeah, yeah. you're mainly selling the sales school sponsorships. What like to learn how to sell? But it was it was yeah, epic, yeah. dude. I like I can't say anything because I had a great career. A book of selling is a textbook. That's what I want to know. Hey, I got no, it, it was a it, like. I mean, your book, and there were like, uh, I think situational, there was like five or seven that you had to get. I'm pretty sure yours was one of them. Hey, I, listen, anyway. I can I can mute you guys so I can be heard. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry. Listen. <laughs> show. Listen. Your your book is now moved up one more one more notch in sales and selling in books. So it's now ranked number ten in that category. Oh, yeah, we're Come on, everybody, Come on. go buy the book. Guys, go on Amazon. It takes two seconds. Get shit done. It's like nine bucks or twenty bucks. Stop counting pennies to make millions and buy the damn book. It right. takes one right. click. click. Buy now, right there. Here, here's the deal. One of my men, one of my slogans is "Don't be a cheap." Hold it, you cut out. Say that again. You cut out. Don't be a cheap bastard. Bam! Just go buy the book. It'll change your life. We have I'm, a lot to talk. I'm buying ten to. books right now. Right now. Jeffrey, can Jeffrey. give out ten books on Brandon Bordanson, Seamless.ai. Let's give them away. I'll even put in money to give away the getting shit done productivity book. It, guys, if you want to maximize your sales, if you want to maximize your productivity, if you want to maximize your results, you got to pick up the book. I'm giving away 10 copies. Ken, wow. how do they, how do they do the thing? Uh, we'll yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll talk offline, but you hit, uh, hey. how do we do this? Um, oh, just Brandon. Hey, really nice to meet you. Hey, it was Thank great meeting you. I, Facebook Live, man. It, it took me Thanks. a year in Facebook Live. <laughs> Thanks for being consistent. I learned from the best. I learned from the best. You said <laughs> daily activity, 5 a.m. to bedtime, every day, seven days a week, no days off. That's, That's freaking right. awesome. Yeah. And wonder, boy, how'd you make it so fast? Dude, you're working ass off 18 hours a day. <laughs> you're ahead of everybody else a year at a time. To my right. email signature says 18.7. I'm available 18.7. 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. I'm 5, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. Grinding every day. Every wow. Day. wow. So, it, so well, anybody that lives in the United States, we're not shipping these out of the U.S. I'm sorry. Unless Brandon wants to also kick in unbelievable no. shipping. Yeah, no, U.S. DM, and, and that's no DM, offense to anyone international. No, it's not. No. No, it's, DM Ken your address. I'll send you a signed copy. Awesome. Yeah, for sure, man. And I can't wait to be on the podcast, guys. Thank you so yeah. much. You're both amazing. Uh, you you are positively impacting millions of lives, and I appreciate you so much more than any of you know. So thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, it's dude. A pleasure. Appreciate you being on, Brandon. Thank you on your success. Ah, oh, dude, you know we're both just getting started, right? Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. Cheers. Thank you both you. likewise. Thank you. Cheers. Dude, this has been awesome. We've had you on here the whole time, Grant Cardone, Brandon. We've had some amazing Cheryl Coco, amazing people. Frank Crenitti was on. This has been freaking unbelievable, man. So thank you. Appreciate you, man. And thank you to everybody who shared this out. See you guys. We're making an impact. And thank you, Ken. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your generosity and your caring capabilities. Thank you. Greatly. I appreciate you saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love you like a brother. You know that. So let's um let's let's go. Let's end this before my bladder explodes live. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Jeffrey, don't hang up yet. Thank you guys. Okay.